Hello, my name is Paul Miners, and welcome to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I want to give you some ideas and explain what kinds of things we can automate with pipe drive. This is one of the most common things people reach out to me to inquire about. People tell me all the time, Paul, you know, I'm using pipe drive, I'm pretty happy with it, but I'd really like to take it to that next level. I'd really like to automate more of my process to save time to just follow up with leads more efficiently, but I don't know what I don't know. So the purpose of this video is to hopefully inspire you, give you some ideas, and just share a little bit about what's possible from an automation standpoint. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you want to learn more about how to actually set up some of these things, I go into this in a lot more detail in my master pipe drive program, which you can find details of in the description below. Or if you don't wanna learn how to set that up, this up, that's fine, reach out to me and I'm happy to talk through what it is that you need and I can provide support for setting this up for you. Now to kick off this video, I just wanna explain a couple of the tools that we can use to automate processes within pipe drive. The first is using Pipedrive's built-in workflow automation. You'll find this here under the menu if you go to workflow automation. Now, these features are available to anyone on the advanced plan and higher. And what this lets you do is set up simple automations where when some kind of trigger event happens, like a deal or a contact is created or updated, you can then run actions, like you can create an activity, you can send emails, you can update deals, all that kind of thing. So workflow automation is a really simple way of automating processes within Pipedrive and kind of in this enclosed environment. Now, sometimes you want to connect Pipedrive with other tools and systems, and this is where something like Zapier is really powerful. I've got a bunch of Zap set up that help me with my business, and Zapier is a really powerful way of connecting Pipedrive with tools like Calendly or your email marketing system, any of the other sort of tools and systems that you use, chances are it probably integrates with Zapier. So Zapier firstly is a lot more powerful. It can handle more complex logic. It can perform calculations if you want to do things like calculate commissions. Um, it can format dates. And uh, as I mentioned, yeah, connecting with all the different services that are out there really does make Zapier a very powerful tool. So those are generally the two ways that we automate things within Pipedrive is firstly using Pipedrive's workflow automation, but also Zapier as well for more complex automation that involves other systems and tools. So let's look at some examples of what's possible. One of the first things people want to usually automate is connecting their website to Pipedrive. So when people inquire about your product or service, we have those leads come into your pipeline. One of the ways this is possible is using the Pipedrive web forms. This is an optional add-on. You can pay an additional monthly fee. I've talked about Lead Booster in other videos, but you could use the web forms to embed a Pipedrive form on your website. Now, some people prefer not to do this because they want to use their own custom form and integrate the existing form rather than setting up a new one. A bit like what I've done here. This is not a Pipedrive form. This is just my own very simple custom form. And so I've got James Bond here filling this in with his um, email, phone, subject, and we can click send. So I have now submitted that form and in the background, Zapier is now working to extract that information from the email uh, and to put this into Pipedrive. So when that form was submitted, a copy of that response was sent to Zapier and that is my trigger here is it's actually triggering an email parser to pull out all of that information. Zapier then finds or creates an organization. If it's an existing one, it will use the existing one or it will create a new one. It finds or creates a new person in the system. It creates a deal. It adds a note to the deal and creates an activity. So the end result is something a bit like this. Here is that James Bond lead that's come in from the website. You can see it's been tagged as a website lead. The message has been put in here as a note. I've got James's contact information from the form down here, and you can see even an activity was created to call the new lead. So that's what Zapier did for me without me having to lift a finger, which was great. Now, as you can see down here, an email has already been sent. So what's going on there? Well, this was actually triggered uh, when, when the deal was created. This triggered one of my workflow automations. So here it is, new deal, send email. When a deal was created, and if it's come from the website, you can see an email was sent and I've got an email template set up here, this new inquiry template. 
this new inquiry email was automatically sent. So again, without having to lift a finger, the information comes into Pipedrive and the lead has already been sent further information and next steps to, to book a call here through Calendly. So that's great. That's already saved me a lot of time. Now, as you move the deal through these um, steps and processes, one of the things that's really useful to do is to automate activities to help with your follow-up. So if I move the deal to, uh, let's delete that activity first of all. If I move the deal to this proposal sent stage, you will watch what happens. Three activities were just created here to follow up in a day, on day five, and on day 14 as well. So this is really powerful because it means I don't even have to think pipe drive using the activities is going to remind me when I need to follow up with this lead. In my experience, the activities is one of the underused features of pipe drive. People tend not to be very good at creating activities. So if we can automate it so that you don't have to worry about it, it's, it's a great time saving um, system that's in place. It's also really nice because if I hire new salespeople, I don't really have to train them too much on my sales process because I just kind of let them loose in pipe drive as they move the deal from one stage to the next, Pipedrive can tell them what to do and it can trigger activities for them to explain what needs to happen next. So it really helps with onboarding new salespeople. So those activities were actually created using Pipedrive's workflow automation. So my deal, uh, my trigger was when a deal was updated and when the stage had changed to proposal sent, you can see my one, two, three activities being created there. And I can specify what the activity should say, when it should be due, I can put in my notes. And so the end result is, yeah, a pretty slick process where all my activities are created and assigned to me, ready to go. One of the common questions I get asked is, can you connect Pipedrive to your email marketing system? For example, if you use something like MailChimp or ActiveCampaign or like me, ConvertKit, maybe you want to put people into some kind of long-term nurture drip sequence where people get an email every week or every couple of months. Or maybe what you want to do is add them to a newsletter list. So you sort of send a bit more of an ad hoc email every, every now and then. You could trigger this any number of ways. Some people trigger it when you win a deal, you might want to put people on a list. Or even when you lose a deal, you click that loss button. Maybe the timing is just not right, so you put them into a newsletter so you can nurture people long term. This is a very common example. The way I've triggered it is I've got this next step field. This is a single option drop down menu. And I can pick from one of these common responses, like maybe they're a good fit and they're ready, or they need time to think, or maybe they're not a good fit and they need uh, and I won't be able to help. So when I pick one of those options, that triggers a zap, uh, uh, one of my Zapier zaps. So this is actually triggered via a webhook that's set up in Pipedrive. Um, there's a bunch of actions performed here. It finds the deal, it finds the person to retrieve bits of information. But essentially what's happening in the final step here is um, the email, the, the, the contact on my deal is being updated in ConvertKit and I'm filling in a custom field with whatever I select from that drop down menu, uh, this one here. So whatever I choose there, that is simply being put into the subscriber's record. That will then trigger a ConvertKit automation. So when that custom field changes, um, the workflow will go down these different branches. So here it says, if the consulting next step is good fit ready, they go down this branch on the left hand side. And you can see they get this email that says, yep, great. Here are the next steps. This is what we need to do. Now I could, I've just got one email going out here, but I could have a bunch of emails queued up, one going out every week or every month, whatever it is that I decide. But as you can see, there's a few steps there, um, basically connecting Pipedrive through Zapier to my email marketing system. Um, if, it, if this is all feeling a bit too much or you didn't quite follow what's happening there, don't worry. Again, the purpose of this video is really just to give you some ideas. And if you do need help setting up this kind of thing, please feel free to reach out to me and we can talk about this in more detail. Now, as I get towards the end of my sales process, one of the things I might want to do is get some kind of contract signed. And Pipedrive does have a built-in documents feature where I can load up a template and I can um, have this filled in with information from the deal. Um, but sometimes you might want to integrate with one of the other third-party document signing services like DocuSign or HelloSign or something like that. So we can do that using a combination of either Zapier or tools like Formstack documents, for example. So 
when I move the deal to this contract sent stage, first thing that's going to happen is it's going to create an activity for me because I'm sending a contract. I want to make sure I follow up on this. So I've got an activity here to follow up in three days. Now in the background, Zapier is sending this information to Formstack. Formstack is putting all the information into a document and it can then connect with something like hello sign or DocuSign or sign now, and it can send that document to be digitally signed. And the end result is something that looks a bit like this. So here's a PDF. You can see it's been filled in with the name of the organization, MI6. It's got James Bond's name down here, the uh, today's date, and this can now be digitally signed and returned. So without having to manually copy this into a document, the information is just taken from the deal put into the correct place and emailed to the client ready to go. Now, one of the final things people might want to do with automation is when you win the deal, you might want to send some information from Pipedrive to some kind of project management tool or ERP system. So I've now clicked one on this deal. I've got my value here. I've got a summary all there. And using Zapier, I could create a task for myself in Asana or Trello or Monday because Asana, Pipedrive is great for managing selling. But now that I'm working on a project or with a client, I want to do that in Asana. So here's an example. The uh, client name has been added as a task. The value of the deal has been put in here. So this value $1,000. The deal summary, the budget, the, the source, the deal type, all of this information that was pulled from this left hand panel can be populated in my task here. And you can see Zappy has even created some subtasks for me for the first few things that I need to now go and do. So this helps facilitate a really smooth transition between pipe drive and that selling process to now your project management workflow and other tools and systems that you use. And so that is a little look at the types of things that are possible with automation. We really have just scratched the surface in this video. I hope at the very least this has given you some ideas of the kinds of things that you might start doing with workflow automation or using Zapier to connect Pipedrive with other tools and systems that you use. If this hasn't all made sense, don't worry, this is a big topic, which is why I couldn't go into everything in this video. But like I said, if you want to learn more, first place to have a look is my master Pipedrive program. I explain and actually show how to set up automation like this. Or if you want someone to just build this type of automation for you, please get in touch and I'm happy to talk about your requirements and provide a quote for support. One more time, thank you very much for listening and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you'd like more help with Pipedrive, setting up or optimizing your account, getting more out of the tool and automating more of your sales process, then check out my master Pipedrive program. When you sign up, you'll be able to join twice weekly group calls so that you can connect with me and get help and your questions answered anytime you need support with Pipedrive. Or you can book private one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions with me so that we can take a deep dive into your account, I can show you key features, and I can even conduct group training sessions. And you'll also get access to my online course, which goes into a lot more depth and detail and advanced topics compared to my YouTube videos. So if you really want to master Pipedrive, then sign up today and I'll see you on the inside.